Hi my friends, <coughs> how you doing? Um, I haven't made a video in about a week so I'm back, I'm back, I'm still alive, don't worry. Um, tonight's video, um, adult content tonight. Can you have sex after a heart attack? I remember, uh, I think it was before I got my stent and uh, me nurse came around with the leaflet, uh, you know, you can you read this, you know, and <clears throat> you know, it's just to explain, you know, once you've had your operation and you're back home again, uh, when can you have sex again, you know? So, I mean, she basically said, you know, you know, when, you know, I'm going to have a talk, you know, when can you have sex again? And me being the sort of joker I am, and I hope you don't take this the wrong way, because, I mean, you've got to have a wee bit of light heart, you know, light heart in life after a heart attack. But whenever she says, you know, I want to discuss now, sex after a heart attack, I jokingly went, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I mean, okay, who's just, who's just cleared off after that joke? It was funny, all right. A bit of lightheartedness, you know, you got to loosen up after a heart attack, you know, because if you don't, you know, the chances are you're not going to last too long, you know. It's one of the things as well as exercise, hydration and all the other things is um, having that attitude positive attitude after a heart attack. I didn't have it at the start, but after about a year or so, I thought, you know, bugger it, you know, you've got to have a laugh. Uh, laughing's actually good for the heart, I must actually do a video on that. But anyway, sex after a heart attack, yes, of course, you can have sex after a heart attack, um, usually about uh, four to six weeks, uh, or if you're married, probably about six months. <laughs> Uh, dear, but yeah, four to six weeks, and apparently, you know, sex after a heart attack, the rate of it is just uh, a brisk walk. You know, the same effort that's going into having sex after a heart attack is the same exercise, you know, same sort of effort you'd put into a brisk walk or sort of, you know, having a, a brisk walk on a treadmill, which is the same as a brisk walk. So, I mean, what the hell am I talking about, you know? But, um, yeah, you know, I mean, you can return to normal, but before you sort of go into sort of having all the sex after sort of thing, so, you know, have a word with your doctor and sort of, you know, he'll check you over, see how you've recovered after the heart attack and things like that. Don't be embarrassed, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, we're all growing up adults and, uh, you know, it's only sex, you know, at the end of the day, you survived the heart attack, you're still alive, you're going to worry about going to the doctor or anything like that or discussing sex? Nah, of course you're not. Well, unless, unless you're a real prude, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, it's only sex, you know, it's only sex, you know, so four to six weeks and it's just like having a brisk walk, although I must say I've had a brisk walk and it was nothing like having sex, you know, but uh, no, it, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's good to get back to normal, so it is, you know, and you go to the rehab, you know, don't just sit around the house and sort of mop about and then sort of, Think about sex. Get yourself fit again, you know. You, you know, you need to be fit. Go to the rehab. Go out for brisk walks and sort of, you know, have yourself built up a wee bit. You know, don't be sort of wanting to have sex and you haven't had any exercise or anything else, you know. Sort of be ready for that big moment where you're sort of, you know, you're back there again. Your marriage or your girlfriend or, you know. But, I mean, don't forget, a lot of people that have heart attacks... You know, most of the people that have heart attacks, you know, I was 53 when I had my heart attack. But a lot of people that have had heart attacks are sort of in their 80s. So, I'm sort of like 67 now, you know. So, uh, I don't know how many people in their 80s still have sex. I don't even like the thought of it, to be honest, you know. But if you're in the 80s and you're having it, well done. Congratulations. And I'm very sorry for saying I don't like the thought of it, you know. You do whatever you want in your own house as long as I don't have to watch you know, but no, all, all joking aside, you know, the heart attack is a big shock to you. Another thing you need to check as well, which I've watched a few videos before I made my own video on can you have sex after a heart attack. Another thing as well you've got to remember is your medication, you know, they give you sort of like blood thinners and they'll give you ones to sort of reduce your heart rate and stuff like that there. And there are medications, you know, you get your aspirin. You get the one to line your stomach, you get the one to sort of slow your heart rate down and then the one for your blood pressure. But these medications can sort of mix together where in the male case, um, it would stop you getting an erection, you know. And the thing about it, you know, 
if you sort of stop having an erection after taking your medications, you know, it's difficult to take Viagra because, you know, the likes of Viagra and the other stuff, you know, it would raise your blood pressure very high. So, you know, if you're finding that problem, you know, see your doctor about that because the doctor can give you medication besides Viagra that will help, you know, with that side of things, you know. But, uh, yep, yeah, my friends, if you've had a heart attack, uh, you're fine, you're good to go, you know. Just relax, enjoy it, you know. Don't be too vigorous, you know. Uh, I'm actually getting embarrassed a wee bit, to be, on to be honest, you know. But, uh, yeah, um, as I say, sex after uh, having a heart attack, I'm trying to remember back because it was 13 years ago and uh, yeah, I, I don't think there was no difference, you know, I was a married man, it was still crap. What can I say? What can I say? Anyway, I just thought I'd make a lighthearted view of it today uh, rather than be serious. I watched a lot of videos on and one guy, he was on for like a minute and a half. And he basically told me nothing. Uh, a woman was on and she was comparing having sex to having a vigorous walk. And I uh, don't know what sort of vigorous walk she was having. But, <laughs> but you know, it's certainly not a vigorous walk to me. But uh, anyway, look, I enjoy talking to you guys. I really do. And uh, my channel was sort of getting uh, not that many views over the last week. And uh, I was actually not going to bother making any more videos. But... I sort of miss making them and enjoy talking to people like yourselves um, who sort of watch them, you know. And if it's any help to anybody, then fair play, you know. But the main thing, as you probably watch my videos, you know, you got to have a positive attitude to life, you know. You can't sort of let life get you down and think that the heart attack's going to stop you from doing things. I can do everything, you know. I can sort of swim. I can sort of cycle. Um, do a bit of jogging, you know, it's a jog for a mile, so I have, you know, I'd cycle to work and back, it's like four miles, and um, God, I would do that every day for a couple of months in the summer, you know, and uh, build myself up and just got to lose a wee bit of weight now. That's important too, I must do another video about the weight because I was reading this brilliant book and uh, it was saying how important losing the weight was. But uh, anyway, if you're just out of hospital, uh, you've had a heart attack and uh, you've been out brisk walking and uh, it's sort of like five weeks since you've been out of the hospital and you're feeling fit as a fiddle. The night's the night. Tonight's the night. Everything's going to be alright. And you're good to go. You're good to go. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, hit the uh, Hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the like button, always like a like, and hit the wee bell there that reminds you to watch my next video. Uh, do leave a comment. I'll, I actually I love comments, so I do because uh, it, I like the engagement with other people, sort of just to know how I'm doing and uh, how you're doing. And when you had your heart attack, uh, don't be telling me all about your sex life. You know, please don't. You can't. I'm only joking. Anyway. Take care, my friends, and uh, if you're only out of hospital and you're worrying about life after a heart attack, don't. The uh, the aftercare now for heart attacks is, uh, honest to God, it's amazing. You know, it really is amazing. So do not fret. And watch my next video, okay? And as for sex, four to six weeks. As for a brisk walk, not as good as sex. See ya.